Kate Vidalich from FatLossAccelerates.com and today I'm totally pumped because I've got the top 9 squat variations that you should be doing. Now the squat is a fantastic exercise, it's one of my favourites and a staple in most workouts but once you can do it with good form, you want to either make it more challenging by adding more reps or by making the exercise more difficult and challenging. So that's where these variations come in. You want to make sure that you can do a solid set of 20 body weight squats before you start trying some of these variations, all right? So let's get rocking. Let's try it. The first exercise that we've got is the prisoner squat. Okay, so what you want to do is you're going to interlock your hands behind your head here, all right? Make sure they're interlocked. And then you're going to do a regular squat. So keep your elbows back, shoulders back, squatting down, straight back up again, okay? So again, like I said, you want to keep your elbows back, chest up high, so you're squatting down, and then straight back up again. Make sure that you're not pulling your neck forward, otherwise that one is obviously not going to be a good idea to try. But keep those elbows back, so you're hitting your upper back at the same time. That's why I really, really love that variation. Okay, so the second exercise, the second variation is the sumo squat. So instead of having your feet in just a regular stance, you're going to point your toes out to either side, okay? Now what this is going to do for you is work these muscles here on your inner thigh, right? Who doesn't love doing that? So you can either have weights or just body weight, and then you're going to squat down and then straight back up again, okay? Make sure that your knees track over your toes, all right? And they're not coming inward here, but you're squatting down and then straight back up, okay? So that is number two. So number three is the frog squat. Now, this one you're not going to find in any magazines because I made it up, okay? So I like to use this as a mobility exercise in your warm-up once, uh, once you're a little bit more advanced, okay? So it's got four points to it. What you're going to do is you're going to bend down, you're going to touch your toes, okay? Then you're going to drop your butt down towards your heels. Then you're raising your arms up and then you're standing up, okay? So again, butt down, a toes, toes, <laughs> fingers to your toes, butt to your heels, arms straight up in a wide shape, and then you're standing on up, okay? So as you can see, that's like total body mobility fun. But the most important thing is in the standing up process here, I'll do it one more time for you, going down, butt down, arms up, stand up, is it your arms and your chest stay really high as you're standing up, all right? So that's number three. Now number four is my all-time favorite for hitting your butt now, it's your curtsy squat. So what you want to do in the curtsy squat, you want to point your left toe out to the side, all right, at about a 45 degree angle, pointing your right toe out, okay, you don't want it just flat, this needs to be pointed. Hands onto your hips, and then you're going to take your right foot down and back, dropping down at the bottom, and then back up again. So with this right foot, make sure that you're making a semicircle, okay, so imagine that it's a match stick, that you're trying to light a match with your toe, okay, so you're going down and back making sure those hips stay square, okay? So that's the curtsy squat. Hits your butt, really fun. You're gonna love it, okay? Number five, you know, we've got the goblet squat. All right, so you're gonna need a weight. You can either use a kettlebell or you can use a dumbbell. It's up to you. But you're holding the weight of your chest. So feet a little wider than shoulder width. You're squatting down and then straight back up again. Okay, elbows in, nice and close, and straight back up. With this one, you wanna imagine squatting over a hole, okay? That's one of the, the easiest ways to remember. So you're basically going straight down, then driving the weight through your heels and standing up. Okay, so we're going on to number six now. We've got the offset squat. So you're gonna grab one dumbbell this time, and you're gonna hold it at shoulder height. Don't rest it on your shoulder, because bruises on your shoulder don't look sexy at all. Feet your shoulder width apart, okay? Abs engaged and core tight. You're gonna squat down, and then straight up again, okay? So you're just holding this number here, keep your elbow in, no chicken wings, and then you're squatting down, exhale, drive it straight back up again. All right, so that is the offset squat. The next one is the Bulgarian split squat. Now this is one of the most hated exercises on the planet. Don't ask me why, actually you're not going to try it. So one foot up on a bench, okay? Then what you're gonna do is drop your back knee right down towards the ground, okay? And then straight back up again. So make sure you're not too close, because if you bring everything in too close, you're going to find that you're not going to get a good range of motion. So you're dropping your foot down, abs engaged, drive it up. You're going to feel your quads on fire. Make sure you do both sides, okay? And keep your chest high and core engaged. All right, we've got two more, okay? We've got the overhead squat next. So if you've never done this before, start body weight only. 
And by doing that, you're just going to keep your arms straight up overhead. So feet about a little bit wider than shoulder width. You're squatting down, and then you're driving straight back up again, okay? This is from a side angle. Arms up straight, feet weight in your heels. Core engaged, squatting down, and then straight back up again. So once you've done the body weight version, then you can start by adding a broomstick as a barbell. Okay, I don't have a broomstick here. <laughs> we have a vacuum cleaner, don't worry. <laughs> so you broomstick before you add barbell or weighted uh, a weight, okay? So that's the overhead squat. And the last one, the trickiest one, the pistol squat. Okay, so this is a single leg squat. Okay, so the best way to start, if you've never done this exercise before, is by going from sitting to standing in a uh, single leg squat. Okay, so one leg out straight, up to standing, and then back down nice and slowly, and then back up again, and nice and slowly down. Perfect. So they are the nine squat variations that you should be doing, going from easiest to the most difficult. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you want to get some more information, click this link just down below here. You get six free bodyweight routines that you can do anywhere. All right, so I'm Kate Bitterleach from FabulousAccelerators.com. Have an awesome day.